Imagine a future where AI tools are more enmeshed in our daily lives than the smartphone. A future where AI is a super competent colleague that knows everything about your life, but doesn't feel like an extension. This is the vision of Sam Altman, the CEO of OpenAI. He envisions AI as a helpful agent, always there, always ready to assist with any task, no matter how complex. Altman's vision of AI is a far cry from the current state of AI applications. Today's leading AI tools, such as DALL-E that creates surreal images, Sora that generates convincing text, and ChatGPT that can converse with us, have undoubtedly impressed us. But these applications are still tools that we use for isolated tasks. They don't know us. They don't learn about us from our conversations with them. They are, as Altman puts it, incredibly dumb compared to what's coming next. Sam Altman paints a picture of a future where AI is not just a tool, but a companion. An AI that does not merely respond to prompts, but one that understands context, one that learns from interactions, one that can tackle tasks instantly, and even make an attempt at more complex ones. Imagine an AI that could go off, try to solve a problem, and come back to you with questions if it needs to. This is the AI that Altman envisions. In Altman's future, AI won't just be a chat interface. It won't be confined to a box on your screen. It will be in the real world, helping you with real world tasks. It will be more than just a tool. It will be a helpful agent, a super competent colleague, a part of your life. As Altman sees it, the AI of the future will be capable of helping us outside the chat interface and taking real world tasks off our plates. This is the future of AI, according to Sam Altman. A future where AI is not just a tool, but a companion. Will we need a new piece of hardware to achieve this AI future? Altman's answer might surprise you. Sam Altman, the visionary at the helm of OpenAI, certainly sees the potential of AI becoming a more integrated part of our day-to-day -day lives. But when it comes to the question of hardware, his view might not align with what you expect. The smartphone, an extraordinary piece of technology, is already being augmented with AI-driven features. Yet, some entrepreneurs are wagering that the AI of the future will call for a device that's more specifically designed for it. Devices that align with this belief are already beginning to emerge, with some even orbiting around Altman himself. Take the wearable AI pin from Humane, for instance. Despite receiving mixed reviews, this device has attracted Altman's investment. There are also whispers of Altman teaming up with Joni Ive, a former Apple designer, on an exciting new hardware venture. However, Altman's stance on the necessity of new hardware for AI's future is not as straightforward as it seems. He suggests that we may not necessarily need a new device at all. I don't think it will require a new piece of hardware, he shared, adding that the envisioned AI application could potentially exist in the cloud. Yet, even with this perspective, Altman doesn't disregard the value of new hardware. He believes that even if the shift towards a new AI paradigm doesn't necessitate consumers buying new hardware, they would still be pleased to own a new device. Altman's fascination with AI hardware devices is palpable. However, he candidly admits that this might not be his forte. He said, I'm very interested in consumer hardware for new technology. I'm an amateur who loves it, but this is so far from my expertise. So, will we need new hardware to welcome the AI future Altman envisions? The answer remains tantalizingly ambiguous. The future of AI, it seems, could take many forms. And while Altman's interest in AI hardware devices is evident, he admits that it might not be his area of expertise. Training data is a critical component of AI development, but it's currently in short supply. How does Altman propose we navigate this challenge, you might ask? Well. It's a valid question and one that the industry is grappling with. Training data is the lifeblood of AI models. It's the raw material that these models learn from. They're like sponges, soaking up information and patterns, then using these to make educated guesses or predictions. But, like any production process, if you run out of raw material, you hit a snag. Currently, there's a scarcity of training data in the AI industry, and this could potentially hamper the development of future AI models like the ones Altman envisions. To build models like GPT-4, OpenAI has been like a digital archaeologist, excavating internet archives, newspapers, and blogs for training data. But here's the rub. The internet is finite. Much of it has been mined for data already, and what's left is often private or copyrighted, tangled in a web of legalities. 
So, where do we go from here? How do we feed the insatiable data hunger of our AI models? Here's where Altman's optimism comes in. He believes that this won't be a problem for much longer. He didn't lay out a detailed roadmap, but his confidence is palpable. It's as if he's saying, look at us humans, we're proof that intelligence can be trained in other ways. We don't need to constantly feed on new data to learn and adapt. There's got to be another way for AI as well, and we'll find it. That's a hopeful perspective, isn't it? Altman's vision for AI is optimistic, to say the least. But in the rapidly evolving field of AI, optimism might be just what we need to push the boundaries of what's possible.